Ever wondered how your relationship with your crush would turn out? The Game of Flame holds the intriguing answers. Let's embark on a journey into the captivating world of Flame. This is no ordinary game. It's a popular pastime that doubles as a fortune-telling tool, a fun way to predict the nature of your relationship with someone you fancy. Flame, an acronym for friends, love, affection, marriage, and enemies, has been a staple in schoolyards, slumber parties, and casual hangouts for years, sparking curiosity and giggles among both the young and the young at heart. It's a game that transcends age and geography, connecting people through shared anticipation and laughter. But where did Flame originate? The exact origins of this intriguing game are shrouded in mystery. Some believe it started as a playful pastime among schoolchildren, while others suggest it may be rooted in older divination practices. Despite its uncertain beginnings, one thing is clear. The game of Flame has spread far and wide, captivating players around the globe with its blend of suspense, surprise, and sheer fun. Imagine, with just a piece of paper, a pen, and the names of two people, you can predict whether they'll end up as friends, lovers, in a marriage, or unfortunately, as enemies. It's this simplicity and the thrill of the unpredictable outcome that have made Flame a timeless favorite. Over the years, Flame has evolved, with variations popping up in different cultures, each adding its unique twist to the game. Yet the essence remains the same, a delightful guessing game that offers a sneak peek into the potential future of a relationship. Whether you're a seasoned player or a curious newbie, the world of Flame never ceases to fascinate. It's a game that keeps us guessing, keeps us laughing, and most importantly, keeps us connected. Now that you know what Flame is, let's dive into the details of how to play this enticing game. Playing Flame isn't rocket science. It's simple, fun, and quite exciting. Flame is a game that's all about prediction, and who doesn't love a good prediction, right? It's a game that has been passed down through generations, and despite its simplicity, it never fails to bring a smile or a gasp. So let's dive into the rules, shall we? Firstly, you need two names. It can be your name and your crushes, your best friends, or even your favorite movie characters. Write these names down side by side. Now the exciting part begins. You'll need to cross out the common letters in the two names. Yes, every single one of them. If the letter A appears in both names, for example, you cross it out. Once you've crossed out all the common letters, count the remaining letters in both the names combined. This number is your magic key to the game. Now let's talk about the acronym FLAME. Each letter stands for a potential relationship between the two names you wrote down. F stands for friends, L for love, A for affection, M for marriage, and E for enemy. Here's where that magic number comes in. Starting from F, we begin to count. If your number was, let's say, 4, you'd land on M for marriage. If it was 5, you'd loop back to F for friends. The letter you land on is the predicted relationship between the two names you started with. It's a game of chance, prediction, and a dash of fun. It's been played at sleepovers, in classrooms, and even at office parties. Who knows, it might just predict your future, or not. But that's the fun of it, isn't it? So these are the basic rules of Flame. Easy, isn't it? But what happens when we apply these rules? Let's find out. Now that you know the rules, it's time to see how Flame unfolds in action. Imagine you've got two names. Let's say, Taylor and Alex. You jot them down on a piece of paper and start canceling out the common letters. The A in Alex and the A in Taylor gone. The L in Alex and the L in Taylor also gone. Now you're left with T-Y-O-R from Taylor and E-X from Alex. That gives us six letters in total. So the six remaining letters will lead us to the F in Flame, which stands for friends. So according to Flame, Taylor and Alex are destined to be friends. But hold on, this is just one possible outcome. Let's take another example. This time let's use the names Rachel and Ross. After canceling out the common letters, we're left with H from Rachel and OSS from Ross. That's a total of seven letters. Now, if we follow the flame order, we end up at L, which stands for love. So, according to our flame game, Rachel and Ross are destined to be in love. Now, isn't that interesting? The results can vary widely depending on the names you choose and the letters they share. That's the beauty of flame. It's unpredictable, it's exciting, and it's a whole lot of fun. You might be thinking, what if the number of remaining letters is more than five? Well, in that case, we start back at F after reaching E and continue counting. So if we had 10 letters left, we'd end up at F for friends again. And remember, while it's a fun game to predict possible relationships, it's just that, a game. Don't take the results too seriously. After all, the real magic happens in life, not on a piece of paper. And that's how the magic of Flame works. It's a roller coaster ride of predictions. Flame isn't just about predicting relationships. It's more about the thrill and fun involved. Now let's delve into the fun side of Flame. It's not just a game of predictions. It's a roller coaster ride of emotions. 
Every time you scribble down those initials, erase the matching letters and start counting, there's a sense of suspense that builds up. Your heart races as you get closer to the end, wondering which word you'll land on. Will it be friends, lovers, or maybe even marriage? The unpredictability is what makes it so enticing. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good surprise? Flame is a catalyst for laughter and camaraderie, a game that brings people together. Imagine being at a party, the conversation is dwindling, and then someone pulls out a piece of paper and suggests a game of flame. Suddenly the room is buzzing with excitement. People are huddled together, eagerly waiting for their turn. Flame has this unique ability to break the ice and lighten the mood in any setting. But the fun doesn't stop there. Flame isn't just for parties, it's a game for all occasions. It can be played during lunch breaks, on bus rides, or even during those long, boring lectures. It's a great way to pass the time and create lasting memories with friends. And let's not forget, it's also a great way to stir up some friendly banter. After all, who can resist teasing a friend who landed on marriage with their secret crush? In essence, Flame is more than just a game, it's an experience. It's about the nervous giggles, the wide-eyed anticipation, and the burst of laughter when the result is revealed. It's about the shared moments, the inside jokes, and the stories that will be told and retold. So the next time you play Flame, don't focus too much on the predictions. Instead, embrace the suspense, enjoy the camaraderie, and most importantly, have fun. Because at the end of the day, remember, Flame is all about the fun and suspense, not the accuracy of the predictions. So, let's do a quick recap of everything we've learned about Flame. We started our journey by diving deep into the intriguing world of Flame, a timeless game that has been a part of countless childhoods. Its beauty lies in its simplicity. It's a game that doesn't require any fancy equipment or special skills, just a piece of paper, a pen, and a dash of imagination. We then moved on to the rules of Flame, which are as simple as they are fun. You start by writing your name and the name of another person. You count the unique letters in both names and use that number to cycle through the letters of flame, standing for friendship, love, affection, marriage, and enemies. The letter you land on predicts the nature of your relationship. It's a game of chance and anticipation that adds a thrilling element of unpredictability. Next, we explore the act of playing flame. The game begins with the scribbling of names and the counting of letters, followed by the suspenseful cycle through the letters of flame. The anticipation builds as you move closer to the final letter, making every round an exciting adventure. We also highlighted the fun element of flame. It's not just a game, it's a conversation starter, an icebreaker, and a way to share a laugh. Whether you're predicting a romantic future with your crush or determining your fate with a celebrity, the game of flame always brings a smile and a shared moment of fun. And there you have it, your comprehensive guide to the game of flame. It's a game that transcends age and culture, bringing joy and excitement to all who play it. It's a testament to the simple pleasures of life. A reminder that sometimes, the most fun can be found in the simplest of games. Next time you want to predict your relationship with someone, or just want to have some fun, remember the game of flame. It's simple, fun, and full of surprises.